Hello everyone. Welcome to the first class of learning C programming. So in this class, I will explain all the components of a simple C program. So here I am not going to any detailed explanation. I want to just you to introduce, get introduced to the different components of the C program. See, you know that any C program starts with hash include stdao.h. Hash include stdao.h is a pre processor this is a pre processor directive okay or you can call it as a header file and main is a function main is a function as of now you don't worry about these two as of now assume that Every C program which we are going to write in the future classes will contain hash include stdao.h and main at the starting. Okay. When I go to the preprocessor directive chapter and the function chapter, I'll explain in detail about these uh, directives and functions. Okay. As of now, these two are compulsory for us to write the program. Assume that. And after writing main, Everything we write inside these two curly braces, these two curly braces is the body of the program. This is the body of the program. Now let us see what are the different components which are present inside the body of the program. Okay, this is the actual logic which we have written to add the two numbers. This is a simple program for addition of two numbers. So here I have written int a comma b comma sum. Okay, what is the meaning? See here, int is a data type. There are different data types like int, float, character, etc. Okay, so I will explain in detail about that. Int is a data type and a, b and sum are variables. What happens when you write this line of code? What happens when you write int a, b and sum? See what happens is inside the computer, you have so many memory lo locations like this. Memory locations are represented in boxes. So there are millions of boxes inside the computer. And once you declare this, which means you are giving name to some memory location. For example, the name of this memory location is A. Randomly, the computer will select some memory location for the declared variables. The name of this memory location is B. The name of this memory location is sum. Randomly, it will allocate. You don't have to worry about that. Which memory location is allocated to sum? Which memory location is allocated to A? You should not worry about that. Okay. So now what happens is, why these variables are used? These since the memory is allocated for these variables. Okay. So we can store some values in those memory locations. Okay. To store the values of which data type integer data type now we have declared these variables in integer data type so to store integer values we declared three variables those three variables are a b and sum in these variables we will store some integer values now in order to make our understanding simpler i will not write like this i will write, uh, instead of that i will write like this three memory allocations are done one box is given for a by the computer one box is given for B by the computer and another box is given for sum. Now computer has given three boxes. Okay. So in these three boxes, we can store the values. But as of now, these boxes are empty. Okay. So, but computer do not like to leave the boxes empty. So what happens? Computer will give some value by itself to these memory locations till we write some values. For example, let us say minus 28. 3750, 6720. And these values are called as garbage values. Garbage values are the values given by the computer to the memory locations because computer don't like to leave it empty. So as of now, in these three variables, garbage values are present. Okay, next line what I have written is printf enter two numbers. See, printf is a function used to print something on the screen. To print something, you will have to use printf only. Okay. So, see, this is my program. I have written a program for addition of two numbers. But if you are using it, 
how will you know that how will you know that uh, you are uh, you have to enter two numbers we need to give some instruction to you right so that's why i am making use of printf so once this is the format of the printf printf you open the parenthesis inside the parenthesis inside the double inverted comma whatever you write you have written enter two numbers here enter two numbers will be printed on the screen if you write your name inside the double inverted um, commas your name will be printed whatever you write inside the double inverted comma that will be printed on the screen everything everything i'll explain in detail in the future videos as of now you get used to the different components this like when i explain variables you should be knowing something about variables already then i can explain in detail that's fine so now what happens on the screen enter two numbers will be printed okay now what happens though this is the screen let us say this is the screen now the user will end will say that enter two numbers See, don't worry about this slash and I'll explain about this later. So enter two numbers is printed on the screen. Once you see you are the user, you saw that enter two numbers came on the screen. So when you see that, what you will do, you will enter two numbers. Let us say you will enter five and you will enter six. You enter two numbers. Okay. Now I want these five and six to from here on the screen to get stored in this memory location. Okay. From, from the screen to the memory location. Who will do that? Scanf will do that. Scanf is used to read the values and store the values. Okay, Scanf is used to read the values and store the values. But the format of Scanf is little bit different. So here you have Scanf percentage D percentage D. What is this percentage D percentage D inside the single double inverted comma? This is called as format specifier. This is the format specifier for the integer. Format specifier for integer. Do you have different format specifier for float, character, etc.? That I'll explain later. But as of now, percentage D is the format specifier for integer because we have we are using which type of variable? Integer variable in our program. In a comma b sum. Okay. So now what happens? The scanf function will see the percentage D. Percentage D is the format specifier for integer. Now the scanf will ask. You are telling me to store one integer value. The first value. First value is entered by user is five. You are telling me to store the value of five, but now computer will ask where I should store this Y. Give me some address. Give me some address where I, I can store this uh, five. So after the double inverted comma, I have written comma. This is the syntax of the scanf, and I have written and a am percent a. This is called as am percent a, or you can read it as address of a. Okay, so now I am telling it, telling computer to store this five in the address of A, which is the address of, address of A, this is the address of A. Now what scanf function will do? It will override the value which is there, which is garbage value which is there. And it will write 5 here. Okay. Now again, you, ha I, you have written one more percentage D. Computer will ask me that you have written one more percentage D. So I will take one more uh, value from the screen and tell me where I should store. Okay, so now the computer, uh, I have written to the co computer that you should store that in the address of B. So where is the address of B? This is the address of B, now six. So whatever the user entered, now got stored in the memory location. In A, five is there, I will write neatly. Now scanf function, what it did, it stored the values. In A, five is there, in B, six is there. Okay, so now our task is to calculate the sum. You know the formula for sum. Addition of two numbers is very simple. I will just write the sum is equal to A plus B. This is called as arithmetic instruction. I am giving some arithmetic instruction to the computer. Okay. So now what happens? Wait one minute. I will uh, erase this. Okay. So now what happens? Computer, you have written one equals here. What is this equal? This equals is called as assignment operator. So what assignment operator will do is it will calculate the value from the right hand side. So a right hand side, what is that? A plus B is there. It will calculate the value from RHS. RHS A plus B is there. A plus B is how much? 5 plus 6, 11. And it will store that in the LHS variable. 
So in the LHS variable is sum. So it will store 11 here. So to store the values, we use two things. We use scanf also where we give the address and it will store the value. And assignment operator, what it does, it calculates the value on the right hand side and it will store in the LHS variable. Now you have five, six and some, our calculation is done. Some is stored in the variable sum. Now I need to print that to print it on the screen. User should see this. So now what I will do, I will use printf again. Okay. So now the format of printf is little bit different. Now what I need to do, I need to take this value from this variable and print it. So how I can write, I can write the double inverted comma and I have written the added result is the added result is the same thing will be printed on the screen, but I have written percentage D here. Percentage D is a format specifier. The computer will not print added result uh, is percentage D. No, it will not print like that. It will print add added result is as it is. But for percentage D, it needs an integer value because that's the format specifier for integer. Now computer will ask in place of percentage D, which value I should print? So that's why I have written one comma. I have given that value. I am telling computer that whatever the value is stored inside this variable sum, take that value, take that value and store it in, in this place, percentage D place. So now what computer will do? Computer will take seven, sorry, 11, and it will print 11 here. So the added result is 11 will be printed on the screen. Okay. So. We have learned so many things in this video, the different components, starting from preprocessor directive, function, data type, variables, printf, scanf, arithmetic instruction, assignment operator. Okay. So all this, and one more very important thing is this semicolon at the end of each line, I have written semicolon here. Why I have written semicolon there. Okay. Semicolon is acts as a full stop statement terminator just like full stop is there in the english language in the same way semicolon acts as a statement terminator it says that the first statement ended here only at the end of each statement writing semicolon is compulsory okay if you don't write you will get the error now what i will do let us run this program in the compiler and see how it is behaving see what you can do is you can go to any online compiler. You go to Google and you check your type online C compiler. And you will get the compiler like program is GDB compiler, tutorials point like that. Many uh, uh, online compilers you will get. You open any of that and you can start compiling your program there. So now what I will do is I, ha I have opened online compiler program is I'll just paste our program here. Okay. This is the program which we have written where int main int a, b, sum printf, everything is there. The same program I have copied here. Now I will run this program. See, once you run this program, now the computer is asking me enter two numbers. So this is done by whom enter two numbers is done by printf print in printf i have written enter two numbers so printf is asking me so i will enter two numbers five and six okay now scan a function what it will do it will store that value in the variable okay so sum is some what it will do sum is equal to a plus b assignment operator it will calculate 11 and it will store and printf function will give us the output now if i click enter i got the result the added result is 11 which means our program is working. Okay. So now whatever we learned till now, whatever we have learned till now, everything I will explain in detail, everything I will explain in detail in the next videos. Okay. Thank you all.